Chisels, punches, hacksaws, and files are hand tools used in an industrial or mechanical setup. Chisel. A chisel is a long bladed tool with a beveled edge on one side and a handle on the other that can be struck with a hammer. It is used to cut materials such as metal, wood, or stone. Chisels can be categorized as cold chisel, cape chisel, round nose chisel, and diamond point chisel. A cold chisel is a generic chisel with a straight edge used to cut unheated materials such as frozen parts or fasteners, small rods, sheet metal, and clean rough castings. A cape chisel has a narrow pointed edge. The rear end of the edge is made thin to avoid binding in a slot. It is used for cleaning keyway slots or carving sharp inside corners. A round nose chisel's cutting edge has a round cross section and is ground at 60 degrees from the chisel axis. It is used to clean round slots, damaged bolt holes, and cut semicircular oil grooves. A diamond point chisel has a diamond shaped end and is ground at an angle across the corners of the chisel. It is used to cut V grooves, slot joints for welding, and mark slots for cutting with a cold chisel. While using chisels, Make sure the chisel is sharp and in good condition. Discard a chisel with dull or burred cutting edge, bent or cracked. Resharpen the chisel carefully and ensure that it is not overheated when grinding. Never use a chisel on anything harder than the chisel itself or on similar materials that are harder, such as tool steel or hardened steel. Do not use a chisel with dull or damaged cutting edge. Do not use chisels that have mushroomed striking heads. Punches. Punches are used for referencing and marking on metals to guide the tip of the drill, rivets, and align holes. Punches can be categorized as center, drift, pin, and transfer. A center punch is heavier than a prick punch and makes it easier to mark the center of a hole when drilling holes. A drift punch or starter punch has a long continuous taper and is used to remove frozen bolts or pins. The shank of a pin punch is ground to the same diameter as the tip and is not tapered. It is used to drive out metal pins after using a drift punch. A transfer punch is used to transfer the exact location of the center of a hole from one part to another part. While using punches, remember to Discard tools which are bent, cracked, or chipped. Use proper tool depending on the task. Do not hold the punches and pins loosely when hitting them on a round surface. The next tool is a hacksaw. Hacksaws are primarily used to cut plastic and metal pipes, metal sheets of soft metals such as aluminum. A hacksaw has a handle to hold the tool and a U-shaped frame with a blade used for cutting metals with the teeth in a forward direction. This ensures that the metal doesn't bend or flex. The saw should be designed considering the thumb rule that at least two or three teeth are in contact with the workpiece at all times. So, for a material of 1 8 inch thickness, a 32 teeth per inch blade should be used. When using hacksaws, remember to choose the size of the blade correctly by considering the material of the object being cut. Keep the blade rigid and the frame correctly aligned. Use the entire length of the blade when cutting. Keep the saw blades away from overheating and breaking. Do not apply the same strength on harder surfaces as that of softer ones. Lastly, files are used to remove burrs or sharp edges or fit a part to be assembled. Files have a long area called the face, an edge, and a tang where the handle is attached. These can be categorized according to their cut as single cut, double cut, rasp cut, and curved cut. As their name suggests, each of the files have different uses. Flat files are used as a general purpose file for deburring, shaping, and finishing. Warding files are thin rectangular files used often by locksmiths for working in thin slots. 
pillar file is like a thicker flat file with one or two safe edges and is used to file rectangular slots and grooves. While square files are usually double cut and used to file slots, holes and recesses. A knife file is a rectangular file with included angle of 10 degrees between its faces. It is used to create V-shaped grooves and work in tight internal angles. A half round file has one side flat and the other side round, which helps to descale pipes, smoothen concave surfaces, and enlarge diameter holes and curves. Slotting files or screw head files help in cutting slots in screw heads. When using a file, always use a handle on the tang. Keep files clean and free of oil. Store files separated from each other in a clean area. Do not hammer on a file or use it for pry bars. Do not too much or too little pressure on the cutting stroke as it can damage files. Chisels, punches, hacksaws and files are some of the hand tools that help cutting and reshaping metals in any metal cutting operation.